Coach Engelhard, after the Panthers' dominant win here at Stetson to open the season. Coach, at halftime, you said this team played pretty much as close as you could ask for as far as a complete half, offense, defense, and even special teams. Second half, um, while you weren't able to get the shutout, you were still able to limit the Stetson team offensively. What are the takeaways from this game? I mean, after a complete domination like this as your home opener, how good do you feel moving forward into your uh, well, home opener? You know, I feel really good about our team. We have a lot of things that we that we need to continue to improve on, and you know, even uh, even on some of our scoring drives, you know, th there were things that we just made some some actually some pretty uh, big mistakes on. But you know, um, I, I think that we probably executed as well as we've ever executed on all three phases. Um, and I think that if we didn't give up the touchdown on offense late in the game, I think our defense probably would have held the shutout um, anyway. I think that maybe took a little wind out of their cells. Um, but I, I thought they still performed very well and, and, and held, a, held a Stetson team who's, who's put up some pretty good offensive numbers to less than 200 yards, I think 177 yards. And, and offensively, uh, we hit the big plays tonight. And really, that's what the game of football is about. It's about explosion plays and how many of those explosion plays can you get. And really, it was all about what Stetson was doing to us defensively. They stacked the box, and when they stacked the box, you know, we everything we do is a run-pass option. So when they stack the box, we're going we're gonna to throw it. And when they don't, we're going to run it. So um, I thought I thought we did a good job executing um, really on all three all three sides of the ball. We get the block punt. We had a great punt return. Um, so we did some not really nice things. Now, Florida Tech fans are already uh, familiar with Milton as obviously one of your marquee receivers. But tonight it seemed as if really the weapons were almost unlimited for you in the passing game. Tell us about some of these uh, emerging players in your receiving core who appear to be new weapons for your new quarterback. Well, Aaron George is, is one that we saw coming along at particularly at the end of last year. We just thought he was going to be dominant, and, and I think that he's a really good player. And when you have Xavier on one side, him on the other side, and you know Gabe Hughes, which only I think only had one, maybe two catches tonight. Um, you know, but you have him in there at tight end. So when people are trying to go two high uh, safeties and, and put them over Aaron and, and Xavier, you have you have a good tight end up, up the middle. And, and Wayne Saunders is usually pretty big for us, and Tyler Bass. And but um, you know, Terrence Bynum had a touchdown tonight. Uh, Scotty Palmer had a couple of nice catches tonight. And, and our running backs, we had four or five running backs that that, that had some nice carries. So um, w when you could be that balanced, and I think that we were. Um, 270 and about 260 or something run pass uh, on our yard. So we're over 500 yards offense, but we were balanced run pass. And when you can do that and spread it around, you know, people can't um, kind of gear towards one thing. And obviously those big offensive plays get a lot of the attention. One area people may look, or may overlook is the special teams play, that third phase. But on uh, defensively, special teams wise, you guys were able to block, I believe it was at least two extra point, two extra point kicks. Is it nice to see, especially in the later stages of a game where the score is so lopsided, is it nice to see your special teams unit really dig in there and still fight and scrap for that ball? Yeah, because that was, I think, um, I think uh, Skyler Sheffield blocked, you know, and he played almost all the game at, at nose guard, and and they run a touchdown, mm -hmm. and then he still has the. You know the want to right. of getting in there and pushing, pushing back and getting his hands up for to get a block. So that's nice to see. But yeah, we blocked two. I mean, you have three block kicks in one game. Special teams, that's big. Yeah. Well, coach, we know it's uh, got to feel great to get this one behind you, and we know you've got the home opener coming up next week. Anything you'd like to say to the fans? You guys prepare to come home after this win? We had a great crowd here tonight. Thanks for all the support and, and making the hour and a half uh, travel up north and. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see a packed crowd next uh, next weekend versus Ave Maria. Um, you know, we went down to Ave Maria last year, and and uh, they were able to to come from behind and, and beat us. And uh, we need that help from our crowd. Um, you know, at home this this Saturday against Ave Maria. Coach, thank you so much for the time. Congrats okay, on the great win. Thank you. Thanks.